My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I apologize for my absence over the last two days. I was feeling a bit unwell and I needed some bed rest. I may not be 100% now, but I think I have enough fuel in the tank to get me going again. So thanks to all who have sent me messages of love and concern. Thank you very much. Now to today's reflection. In his apostolic exhortation, Gaudete et Exultate, Pope Francis mentions the two heresies from early Christian times that continue to plague us in the contemporary world. The two forms of false holiness, as the Holy Father puts it, that leads us astray are Gnosticism and Pelagianism. I will leave Gnosticism aside for today and speak a bit about Pelagianism. Basically, Pelagianism is the belief that we can, through our own effort, gain salvation with, without divine grace. In other words, we can redeem ourselves and be saved through our own works without any help from God. This is clearly not the truth. Our salvation is in fact entirely in God's hands. It is up to the Lord to save us. We cannot earn our own salvation. But then does it mean that in our faith life we can simply sit back, fold our arms and do nothing since there's nothing really we can do? Why do we need to live according to the commandments and follow the precepts of our faith and church? I suppose if we think of our faith in a transactional manner, then it does not make sense to do all these things we're supposed to do. For example, like live a morally upright life, because it doesn't gain us anything in return. But our faith is relational. We are in a relationship with the Lord. We follow Christ's teachings and God's laws because it is simply the right thing to do. We follow God's laws and Jesus' teachings because we love the Lord. We follow because we are responding to His love and grace. In today's Gospel readings, Jesus said to His disciples, If anyone wants to be a follower of mine, let him renounce himself and take up his cross and follow me. For anyone who wants to save his life will lose it, but anyone who loses his life for my sake will find it. What then will a man gain if he wins the whole world and ruins his life? I think what Jesus is saying to us is that even though we cannot earn our own salvation, but as people of faith, we must abide and live by the truth. And sometimes it is difficult to live the truth because of the tough choices we have to make or that we are misunderstood when we choose to do the right things. These are the crosses we have to bear. And we choose to bear these crosses not because of saving of our, of our own skin, but because it is the right thing to do and we are responding to God's love and grace. That's how a relationship works. It is not about what one can get out of it. And if we do not even try to live according to Christ's teachings and follow God's laws, then we will in fact lose some very precious things. We will gradually lose ourselves and our relationship with the Lord. The church teaches that a person's conscience can be formed. And when one uses his conscience, one can know right from wrong and approves the good and denounces the bad. However, by giving in to weaknesses and compromising on even small things, we will slowly deform our moral conscience, harden our hearts, and deafen ourselves to the Lord's voice. My dear friends, we cannot earn our own salvation, but by not living up to our calling as Christians and not responding to God's grace, we will lose ourselves and our relationship with the Lord.